So what are the common symptoms patients with deviated nasal septum experience? The most common symptom is nose block. Because the deviated nasal septum occupies the nasal passageway, the patient cannot breathe well. These patients complained of alternating nose block. That is, when their right nose functions, the left nose is blocked. And when the left nose functions, the right nose is blocked. These patients also develop a tendency to sleep on their right side or the left side. Because in that position, the nose stays open and they can breathe better. Patients with deviated nasal septum have noisy breathing. They have whistling sounds coming from their nose when they breathe a little forcefully or during sleep. And their friends and family keep telling them about this. Patients with deviated nasal septum can have nose bleed. See the air when we breathe through the nose should smoothly flow over the septum. When there is a bend in the nasal septum, this can lead to the air hitting the deviated part of the septum. This leads to dryness in that area, crusting. And when the crust falls off, there can be nose bleeding. Patients with deviated nasal septum can experience single-sided facial pain or headache. This is a little bit of a controversial topic. This is said to be happening because the bad part of the deviated part of the septum, when it presses against the natural swellings in the nose, that is the turbinates, it can cause this kind of a headache. If the deviated part of the nasal septum blocks the sinus drainage pathways, it can lead to sinusitis and the patient can start having sinusitis symptoms. Similarly, when we breathe through the nose, the air has to reach the back part of the nose and there are two tubes called eustachian tubes through which the ears get ventilated. Because of the deviated nasal septum, if this ventilation is affected, there can be fluid formation in the eardrum area and also sometimes holes in the eardrum. 